Six ex-Muslim Christians face the death penalty for conversion in Libya. According to human rights activists, six Libyans were arrested in March for converting to Christianity and engaging in proselytization. The detained individuals, including members of the Amazigh minority group, were accused of violating laws that are increasingly used to suppress human rights organizations and civil societies. The Libyan Christians were charged under Article 207 of the Penal Code, which prohibits the dissemination of views that challenge fundamental constitutional principles or the social order. The Internal Security Agency, or ISA, claimed that these arrests were aimed at dismantling an organization seeking to persuade people to abandon Islam. The ISA shared videos of confessions online, prompting the families to be informed of their loved ones' detentions. Activists have raised concerns about the targeting of civil society members and international organizations using this Article uh, 207. The situation has led to many human rights activists leaving Libya, while those who remain have to work covertly to protect their own safety. Okay, this is insane. Uh, What are the chances of getting executed, do you know? I don't know. I do know that um, last year there were also some uh, ex-Muslim atheists who were captured in Libya. And I don't know if they're also facing the death penalty. I think they are. And they, um, they're facing criminal charges at the very least. And it's a very, very serious situation. But those have not been um, carried out yet. Based on my understanding, this is... I mean, any apostasy law in general is just used to clamp down on dissent, right? But usually, actually, that's not true. Never mind. I'm not going to say that. Do we do we know their names? Or their- I haven't been able to find. I think there was only one name that I saw discussed, maybe in um, the articles, but. Um, Yes, one one name of one individual is um, Seifal Madi, an engineer and father of one child. He said mm. that he converted to Christianity after meeting a Christian from the U.S. in 2016 and had discussions about before being baptized and converted. And then uh, his lawyer said that he renounced his Christianity while under torture. Yeah, so what can, what can be do? Is there anything that can be done? I don't know. I think we need to keep an eye on the situation and see if there's anything that develops. I don't know how uh, exactly what kind of like leverage can be exerted on Libya. Like what levers can be pulled to help the situation. Um yeah. Is we it, have to talk is about Christian it and raise awareness about it. Is the Christian community responding? Any at all? Yeah. I mean, like, they... Okay. I don't... Um, I mean, you, I follow a lot of, like, Christian persecution websites, and I've seen a lot of mm-hmm. them um, talking about this, but, yeah, Dia's right. Dia's like, there isn't that much information about this out here. We just know that this is something that six people are facing. And I wanted to talk about this because I feel like when we talk about ex-Muslim issues, like, I mean, we're an atheist community, so of course we focus on ex-Muslim atheists and what they deal with, right? But, like, ex-Muslim Christians also have to deal with, like, a fair amount of persecution, and they should be discussed, too. I don't think ex-Muslim topics and communities should, like, only be regulated to the people who are Christians. Because, like, I have friends that are ex-Muslim Christians that they had to go through a lot of crap. And they had to leave everything behind because of it. So, like, they also suffered. Um, I mean, also, thank you, Susanna and Dee and everybody else that brings this to, to our attention because I saw this nowhere else. Like, I don't know um, 
if anybody on any other atheist channel they're talking about this like this again guys here's a, a one reason why um so our, our show is not always that popular is because we talk about things that is not necessarily um dramatic or entertaining for people to come to our show right like we talk about we pick things that are important to know because we our goal here at atheist republic is to uh support as much as as much as we can you know even if we post memes and we have have entertaining shows it's eventually to get enough audience to bring attention to these things that you don't get anywhere else and we pay a heavy price for it like if we wanted to just um, be entertaining it would be easier but we talk about things that doesn't have that much of an audience for because it's just like who, who cares like people don't care about these things like 6x muslims in libya like that moment you're like okay why should i care about this right but we talk about it because that's the mission of atheist republic and but so with the small community that we have here on youtube and on facebook we're huge but on youtube we are like very tiny but um we try to bring people from other social media where we're popular to youtube but that's a very difficult transition because on youtube is the goal is on youtube to bring talk about important things that people need to be aware of and on other social media outlets where we it, it tries to bring people here but that's very difficult because there it's easy to grab attention there but on youtube it's not that easy, especially when, when we're not trying to constantly entertain people. And we're also trying not to always be, you know, anti this, anti, you know, it's easy to start drama and grab a big audience. But we don't always, we, even if we do that, is to, if we ever do that, is to eventually get people to pay attention to this. So if you are supporting us, if you're liking us, if you're uh, donating to us, if you're subscribing, um, thank you, because it's, it gets, it's difficult. It's really difficult. I do want to address a comment here by Pakistani Defense Force, which is insane again. Like uh, Pakistan Defense Force is saying, Susanna, your country is the one which caused this situation. Like, think about how insane this is, right? Look at the reduction. Is like you're trying to reduce. You have a mind anti-West attitude. First of all, yes, the United States is to be blamed for the things that are happening to Libya, but you, you're, you are so one-dimensional that you see something bad in in Libya happening, and you have to keep. Like I saw you having multiple chats about this, and look, you like you're saying, Susanna, your country, like you're somehow indirectly want to hold Susanna responsible as well. I, I don't understand. This is so, this is so stupid. As if Susanna, or has like maybe to imply do with that I'm like have no right to talk about it because <laughs> of the yeah. nature of my nationality. But think about also how anti. This is how western centric these these people are right because everything has to be reduced to western fault you know like the libyan people the the people mm. in charge there like not holding them responsible not holding islam responsible you know there's so many, nothing in this in, in politics and in religion and in um you know social sciences is one dimensional it's mostly multifactorial but this is a problem of many things come together to make this something like this miserable happen. It's yes, yeah, partly United States, but it's also Islam. It's also Islam, and it's also people in Libya. Like you're robbing people of their own agency and of of, of the capability of uh, doing their own mistakes when you just want to reduce everything about like oh USA bad, USA bad, USA bad. It's pathetic. It's absolutely pathetic. Um, you highlighted something that you wanted to read. Oh, this was just a nice comment. Imran is saying, I really appreciate this channel. None of the other atheist YouTube pages cover this stuff in non-Western countries much. Exactly. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Yeah. Um, also, we got a super chat by GJ, which actually addresses what I just said. He's saying, why just 34 watching now? Well, GJ, because we're talking about six ex-Muslims who are about to get executed in Libya, right? What do you think? Like, if we were, if we, if we were talking right now about like, oh, Islam, um, bad because look what how it talks about women. Okay, that would be 
more engaging. And if we had more shows like that, all of our other shows would be like more engaging. But because people know that when they come here, they also hear about why six ex Muslims, ex Muslim Christians who are not even atheists, like we're an atheist channel, and we're not even the, the people. The ex-Muslims who are about to be executed in Libya, we're not even tribal enough to only focus on atheists. We're talk we're trying to highlight six Christians that are about to be executed. Like even if we wanted to be audience pleasing, we would be talking about atheists only, right? But we're talking about six Christians and who wants to hear that? Not that many people want to hear that. That's why only 34 people are watching. And then it continues, GJ saying, are you sure Atheist Republic does enough advertising uh, of its YouTube streams and videos on other socials like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter? Yeah. And if you look on Facebook, we have 2 million followers. And because of the hard work that Susanna and, uh, does, our, uh, our violations have been removed, right? And now our page engagement is back up to 2 million per week. So that's amazing, right? And our Instagram is killing it. Our Instagram is wild with engagement. And our Twitter is back. And our Twitter engagement is huge. YouTube is, we are using all these social media to try to bring people on YouTube and on our newsletter to give people important things that they need to hear. But that conversion is difficult because they are seeing memes there. And they are there for the memes. And then when we click post a YouTube video, they see that the, the topic is dry and boring. So that conversion is hard. But yes, we are advertising it all those, and the, and the advertising is, is difficult. Like I have, I am so busy, but I have to find extra time. But I'm losing sleep over this. <clears throat> to make short video. By the way, guys, you can volunteer to help us. Link in to volunteer. We need video editors because I am spending a lot of time that I don't have because I'm doing other things for Atheist Republic to make short videos, like one minute videos of our show to put on our Instagram. And guess what? The short versions of our of our news on Instagram gets thousands, tens of thousands of views. So you might not see that many views here on YouTube, but this what we're saying right now here gets cut, and on Instagram it gets a lot of views there. And now that our Facebook engagement is back, the same stories on our Facebook page will get a lot of views as well. But I don't have time to turn all our news segments into one minute bites, so I need video editors to come and help me with that. And our link to our um, volunteer application is in the description. So please help us and uh, do that. Yeah. And yeah, thank you for doing a really good job with those. The shorts have been helping a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we are, but by the way, these shows that you're watching is getting a lot of views. Maybe not on YouTube, but we cut it and we put it on Instagram and it's getting a lot of views there. We are very active and we have a lot of followers on Instagram and on Facebook. So yeah. So there's that. But we like our community here that we could talk live to. So it's good. Yeah. Yeah. So I even know. here it's on fun. YouTube. If, yeah. Even though on YouTube it's not as busy and as the other places that we are at, it's still fun to have you guys here because we're not in, we, we don't get to be live with those people. Like we don't, we don't know them. We don't know the people on Instagram. We don't know the people on Facebook. We don't know the people who are on uh, on our uh, following Atheist Republic Twitter's account, right? We but have we know our community you here. Yeah, here we know you guys. You know, we you guys are hang out with us. So yeah, so there's that. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary. Japanese gods, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.